today's Manly Mannequin. It has uh, five tips to going green. Hey, good morning, everyone. Yeah, we're talking about going green, and we're hanging out here at Danny's Epic Yard Sale, because that's part of the process, is getting rid of a lot of things and downsizing. But before you get to that point, got to know the rules. Here are five tips for going green. Number one thing you want to think about, the three R's. That's R and R and R. That's reduce, reuse, recycle. Think about reducing your carbon footprint. Think about reducing how much water you use. Think about reusing things that you don't have to throw out. You can actually reuse. And think about recycling things that you really can't use, but you can find another purpose for them by sending them off to be recycled. Number two thing you want to think about, you want to read up. You have to be educated. Because when you're going to think about recycling, there are certain items that you can recycle. Like there's some wood pallets back there, and there's wood everywhere, and there's fabric, things like that you can easily recycle. Then there are other things you cannot recycle. Make sure you read up on exactly the things that you cannot recycle so you don't get in trouble and make that mistake. Number three, you want to think about buying recycled items. Just buy recycled, that helps to reduce your carbon footprint right there. There are a lot of things out there that are made of recycled paper, made of recycled cloth, recycled materials, recycled glass, things like that. You can seek those things out. They're not that hard to find like they were maybe 10 years ago. It was hard to find. Now you can easily find a lot of things that are recycled and buy it that way. Number four, think about inspiring and supporting an artist. Think about what artists use to make art. Like I'm looking at these carpet squares, right? These are all kinds of carpet squares. And if you encourage an artist, they'll probably make a bunch of stuff with that. So think about donating the items that you have to an artist. They'll take rubber bands, a paper, wood, cloth, the carpet squares, anything like that. And that'll really help them uh, to get into their art and make something very creative. Oh, and then the number five thing, Danny, I'm going to need you to help me with that. What's the number five tip to going green? Sometimes you just got to learn to let it go. Let it go. You see what I'm saying? You have to learn to let things go. That means for a wonderful man like Dan who likes to collect things, at some point, you got to let all this stuff go. <laughs> at some point, you got to have a big yard sale like this and just downsize and get rid of all the stuff you've been collecting for decades and decades and decades. And stuff can go to schools as well. Schools need supplies, and kids love to play with uh, recycled materials. So think about that. Go to GoodDaySacramento.com, click on Show Info, and a uh, man up. For going green and downsizing. Also, coming up later on today, we're talking radio on Sports 1140, KHTK, 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock, the lowdown with me, Damian Barling, and Jason Ross. I'll see you guys a little bit later on. Sounds Back to good. you. Fantastic. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.